This is my motorcycle lift table and I've been quite satisfied with it except for this wheel shuck that was included and it's just not made well enough. It doesn't support the tire to hold the bike. I've made this template and as you can see it just match up perfectly for this bike and I've tested it on a couple of other bikes as well. This is the ultimate shape. So I'm going to make two of these in metal and in addition I need to make some kind of mechanism to clamp it to hold the bike and I promise you this will be the best wheel shock ever made. I am cutting up a whole lot of 20mm square pipes for building the frame for the wheel shock. Or is it called a wheel clamp? Is a shock stopping the wheel going forward and backwards while the clamp is supporting the wheel sideways? I will probably use both of these terms for the same, but let me know if I got it wrong. The frame is done, it's time to weld on the sheet metal. Isn't this just great? Much better, isn't it? Yeah, I'm talking about my haircut. But these are not bad either, are they? You can see these will be much more supporting the wheels than this original one. But there is another problem as well that drives me crazy with this type of shock. And most of these uh, wheel shocks are designed like this. One side is fixed and the other one you can move to clamp your wheel in the center here. And you can see it's not centered. It's offset because if you have a wide wheel or a narrow wheel, then this will yeah, be laying to this surface. And oh, I, I can't live with this. Of course, I need, I need to make a solution that is uh, completely centered regardless of the wheel size. So I have found these stickers. Let me just mark up the center of the table here. In other words, I want my side of the clamps to be like this. So, that means I have to be able to move both of this to be able to clamp down the wheel in the center of the table. It does make sense, doesn't it? Okay, I know you're not supposed to wear gloves when turning on a lathe because the gloves can catch something and uh, yeah, drag your hands into it. But the ships are glowing hot, so uh, I'm so annoyed getting burnt on my hands. So I'm very careful now, just keeping my hands at the lower part here. And yeah, promise you, everything will be fine. And then I have prepared all the parts I need to build the clamping mechanism. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? It's a, a M24 threaded rod. I need to modify this end, uh, by the way, because I want to attach a crank here. This pipe goes here, this nut on top. And uh, with a crank here, I will be able to turn this around and screw this bolt in and by that push the clamping mechanism. Then it's time for some more welding. Of course, this nut is galvanized. That needs to go first. Well, I do think the weld is uh, strong enough. But it could have been a bit prettier. A 
bit of uh, grinding, filing, and these uh, Scotch brides are so nice to get a good finish. So, what do you think? Doesn't it uh, look uh, much better? I do believe so. Then it comes to putting this on the clamp. So the clamp is going to be like this. And uh, here is this uh, supposed to be located. Just a quick uh, little weld here. It's just tacked on for now, so I can do some testing. I have a couple of parts I can put on. I have prepared a couple of 3D prints. I don't want this clamp to be put directly onto my lift table. Metal against metal, no good. So these, uh, these 3D prints will be like protectors. I have already drilled the holes and threaded them. I have some small M5 bolts here. That's how it looks. Then I need to build the feet and uh, put the... <sighs> then I need to build the feet that is going to support the rod that is going to move it. This is the housing, or what to call it, with our shoulder brushing that I have 3D printed goes on each side. This is the axle that I made. This rotates around inside here. This needs some fits and that is what I'm going to use this for. And the last 3D print here is just welding support to make it just easier to fabricate it. Looks good. The fits are done, and I must say this design is impeccable. Let me do a quick assembly. The shoulder brushings goes in like this. I made a washer that fits to the axle, and then the axle is thread into the clamp. The remaining part is to make some way to crank this around. And my idea is to use this nut that I have prepared with a square hole. And you might wonder how I made this one. So, I started with a regular nut and a slice of the threaded steel rod. Welded it all together. A bit of grinding, of course. I tried to use my lathe for getting a hole in the center. It really didn't turn out. If you know what I did wrong here, let me know. Anyway, the bench drill saved me this time. And I'm drilling out a 12 mm hole here. And then it's just to prepare the nut for some filing. You don't always need very sophisticated tools. A vise and a file and some patience and you're there. But as we all know, a square hole does not fit over our own peg. Or was it the other way around? So then I need more specialized tools here to make this square. And then the last piece is made, and it's just to assemble all the parts. 
and uh, I'm really sorry if I have uh, come across a bit uh, overconfident creating this, but uh, the reason for it is uh, I've already made one. This was the second one, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. Here you can see the first one, and then the second one goes uh, like this. And I've also pre-drilled uh, all the holes. Almost ready for the first test, but I've made a sticker as well that I thought was useful here to find the center when I'm gonna preset position for the wheel clamp before pulling the bike into it. The tires on my bike is 90 millimeters in width, so that is what I'm gonna preset this to now. But of course turning this by hand is boring, so of course I can use my drill. One of the clamp is a bit wider than needed now, so I have some wiggle room when I'm gonna drive my motorcycle in between here. I will probably not be using my drill, so I made a crank as well that fits to the pipe. This will probably be the most uh, common way for me to... to um... I know I promised to build the best wheel clamp ever made. Maybe this is not it. Maybe this is version 1 and version 2 will be the best one, because I have I think maybe this is a problem. Of course, I have only one axle here, so uh, will it really hold the bike securely when this uh, is uh, loose like this? Also, I don't really like these threads being exposed. Dirt and uh, stuff can... Maybe I should make some cover over here. And of course, I need to prime it and paint it. That will be later, after I've tested it a while. Maybe it's no problem. Maybe it works as is. So it's time for the first test. And I'm not kidding. This is the first time I'm trying it. No one in the whole world has ever tried this clamp. Uh, because uh, this is the only one that exists, of course. It would, of course, be a complete disaster if this didn't work. I think I need, uh, need to speed up. <laughs> this bike is a bit heavy. Okay, a bit more speed to it. Okay, one more time, even more speed. Ready, steady, go. Okay, even more speed. Okay, I just need, okay, what about now? That was better. Yeah. Exactly. That is an issue. Maybe it's not perfect. So maybe I have to postpone to version 2.0 the perfect one. But it did work. There are some positives here. The crank worked and when I'm removing it, I have nothing that goes outside of the table. 
I have seen others where the crank is outside of the table and it's very annoying when you're going to work around it. So this is very minimalistic, very small, compact. I like that. The mechanism worked, except I can see that this is uh, clamping very hard here. It's like uh, moving outwards at the rear and also at the top. So I think I need more even clamping force. It didn't feel that secure, but I did manage to onboard my bike and put on the rear stand to secure it properly. So yes, it worked, but not as perfectly as I thought. Let me know if you have any idea on how to improve it. You probably need to build a version 2.0 of this and make a follow-up video as well. Hope to see you back. Bye for now.